Chapter 10 is the last chapter in Unit 2, and it focuses on re-expressing data. In other words, making a curved scatter plot appear straight. Everything that we've learned in the past three chapters has been about linear regressions with an emphasis on linear. We need an approximately straight relationship between the two quantitative variables in order to, re to run a regression analysis. What we're going to be doing in this chapter is taking a curved scatter plot and making it straight by re-expressing it. So basically, we take either the x variable or the y variable, or in some cases both, take all of the, va the values in that variable and do something like square root all the va values, okay? Or take the logarithm of all the values or the reciprocal, etc. In this example, we have fuel efficiency in miles per gallon and weight in pounds for late model cars. When we look at it first, it looks approximately straight, but when we run the regression analysis and look at the residual plot, we see a distinct curve in the status. That's telling us that this is a nonlinear relationship. We have a curve in our original scatter plot. So what we can do is take it and re-express it. So to re-express it, we're gonna take all of our Y values and we're gonna convert them into gallons per 100 miles instead of miles per gallon. We do these with individual values. So each of these points goes through that same conversion. And once we do that, it's more straight than it was before. Okay, our residual plot looks a lot better. This would be appropriate to run a linear regression on. Let's talk about a problem using a square root re-expression since it's a bit easier to comprehend. So if we were to re-express our data with square roots, let's say we were to take all of our Y values, each individual Y value gets square rooted and we have a whole new set of coordinate points where instead of X, Y, we have X and then square root of whatever that Y value is. When it comes to writing our equation, instead of writing something like this, which we're used to, y hat equals the equation, we change it and it becomes this. So the only change is that we write that re-expression into the equation. So when we look at that equation, we can tell in our original data, we square rooted all the y values that made it straight, it re-expressed it. And that's what this equation represents. When it comes to plugging into this equation, we start off the same as normal. We wanna use the equation to predict a y value when x is equal to two. So we're just gonna plug in a two for the x. That's gonna give us the square root of y hat equals 14.2. Now this is still in re-expressed form. So if we wanna get an actual uh, predicted value for y hat, we wanna get that y hat by itself, which means we need to reverse the re-expression. So we would square both sides that would give us y hat, an actual predicted value of 201.64, which is just the 14.2 squared. These problems can be really frustrating because you never know which re-expression is gonna be the one that makes it straight. So in certain situations, you can end up trying a whole bunch before you find the right one. Here's a, a recommended order that you should go through to try. So first one you should try is the square root of y hat. Next, try the log and then finally the reciprocal. Okay, if those don't work, uh, you can try the log of x. You really could try all these, but we don't wanna get into a situation where we're a ton, uh, wasting a ton of time. The last one I would recommend trying is log of x and log of y hat. If you haven't found it at this point, just pick whichever one looks the best and complete the rest of the problem. As for what can go wrong, we can't re-express data that has a lot of curves. Something like this, we would wanna break into subgroups like we did in chapter nine. Um, do a regression on this portion, this portion, and that last portion uh, as three separate regression equations. And lastly, one of the other benefits of re-expression is that it doesn't just work for scatter plots. It also works for other things like equalizing spread, um, making distributions more symmetric. So here we have uh, a distribution showing assets. Uh, this is in hundreds of thousands of dollars very skewed to the right, but if we take the log of all those values, in this case, we took the log of the X and we have an approximately normal straight shape, which we can find Z-squares for, uh, used to find normal probabilities, etc.